Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, if you've been stopping by and watching my channel, if you haven't liked and subscribed, go ahead and like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when you're about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or if, it, if it's about you being a hangover or your spiritual gift, or even if it's just about the content, I love to get the positive feedback. And if not, if you enjoy what you heard, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. That would be, be appreciated too. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and coming to see what I'm about. And from our returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you, too. And thank you so much for the kind words and the love and support and just being you. Just being you is just the greatest gift you could ever be. Just, that's just being you. When you can tell me, you know, things are going on good in your day, even when it's going bad in your day, that lets me know I got to pray harder for you and hope good things that are happening for you, you know, that things will turn around. I love to hear from, you know, my extended family from all over the world, and it is just a, a tremendous blessing. So, you know, it was just, I'm glad that, you know, everybody stopped by and just wished me a happy birthday. I greatly appreciate it. That is just, you know, when you can just tell me those kind words, you know, y'all had me crying yesterday. And I was just watching the stuff, and some of them I haven't got a chance to comment back on them, so I will be getting back over there after I, you know, finish doing my videos. But I missed y'all. I missed y'all because it felt weird not doing my videos, like, right after, you know, when my other, you know, my last video stopped, because I upload, like, four or five of them in one sitting so I can spread them out throughout the day. So, you know, you'll have something to watch throughout the week or whatever, because somebody might need to hear a certain message or whatever. But it was just like, it felt so weird. But, you know, I know I needed to relax, you know, unwind, you know, and take a time out for yourself. You're always supposed to make sure your yourself is happy. Yourself is happy. So it was just like, I enjoyed myself. Me and my family, we watched this movie, Traffic. If you have not seen the movie Traffic with Paula Patton Thick, uh, Omar X, Laz Alonzo, and Rosalind Sanchez, you really need to watch that movie. You really, really, really need to do it really need to but yes um today um my meditation music if you can hear it, it is so peaceful like i was meditating to this before i started making my video it's called beautiful light music easy smooth inspiration long playlist by relax daily ocean breeze so i will post that link in the description box below but yeah my video today is about twin flame 101 lead by it lead with no apologies not lead by example because i did a video about that but lead with no apologies be unapologetically you you know i put a video out about that a few months ago way back but it's just like with us you know it was like throughout the weekend i was worried about what people would say or what people might think or whatever and i'm just like why did i get like that you know, and it, it, it's just like so many things is going on and with the new moon and I guess, you know, it's just a sentimental time for me and my birthday and it was just crazy. So it, it's just like when you're going through all these things, just know it's okay. I'm going to pause for the cause real quick. Yeah, don't be, I mean, be unapologetically you. You lead by example. Don't be apologizing. Only time... You should ever feel bad about things if you know you're not doing it in a positive light. If you're being mischievous or you're doing things to go out your way and hurt somebody. If you're being vengeful. If you're doing it with negative intentions and negative thoughts. But if you know if you're going out there and it's just with us hell because we are always wanting to go out our way to make people happy. You know, when we see things that are going on that we don't see that it's in a good light, we always go out there and make that extra, that extra mile to go ahead and make sure things are okay, 
you know, we, we open up to charities, causes, and all these things. And you're, you know, and there are sometimes when you're on that positive path, you will have people come at you crazy. You will have people tell you, no, this is not right. You can't do that. If you know that you're doing things in a positive aspect, you keep doing you. You keep doing you. Don't stop what you're doing. Don't stop what you're doing. I was just having... Um, a conversation with my my home girl. She knows who she is, and it just brought me so much clarity because we're both going through things, and you know she's helping me figure stuff out even when she doesn't know she's doing it. And it's just like I'm helping her as well. And it's just like you know, like I've been telling y'all before, if you've been on this journey with me for a while, I always say you know I'm wondering why these old feelings keep coming back and why these thoughts keep coming back. And it's actually like when you go through so many different things. And these negative thoughts come up when you're on your journey. And it, it's just like sometimes our fear will get a hold of things. And it's like I've been so comfortable with dealing with things the way I've dealt with them for so long. It was so hard to get out of that situation. And I beat myself up about it. Like, you know, why did I do that? Why, you know, and I can't, I can't sit up here and keep beating myself up for that. I can't because things have happened the way they're supposed to have happened. You know, people have come into your life, in and out of your life. The people that matter will stay. The people that matter will stay. So it's just like you keep doing you. You keep having that head held high. Keep on walking that path. It might seem troubled at times. Don't give up. Don't give up. Be unapologetically you. See, I'm trying to sit up here and be cute about it and can't even pronounce the word. Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, <laughs> I said y'all know what I meant, that word, that part. But yeah, keep on doing what you need to do. And it's going to be some days that things are not going to make sense and stuff like that. You know, I was just thinking about all things like, you know, these memories are coming back. And I, you know, I forgot all about this. And it wasn't the fact that, you know, the universe was punishing me with it. I didn't realize that I was just releasing those thoughts. And it's just like when you have bad memories that come back or you have negative thoughts come back, release that like a balloon. Don't try to grab that string. And that's what I did is grab that string. And next thing you know, I done brought back all those emotions right back when it came from that situation. So I had to look at things in a different way. You know, it's just like, you know, with my birthday and everything, it's like I'm a year older. So it's just like, you can't be doing the same things you've been doing year after year after year. You have to be able to, you know, level up. Or if you can jump a couple of step levels, you know, that good kudos for you. Kudos for you. But I'm just telling you, it's just like when, when you have that new year that comes around, like, you know, New Year's, or when it comes to your birthday and stuff like that, you have to be able to look at things in a bigger, better perspective. And it was just like, I was just stuck on that negative situation. Like, you know what? You're going to get through this. You're going to get through this. You can't worry about what people think. You can't worry about what people say, how people perceive you, because people are going to think what they want to think anyway, even when you're doing good or bad, you know, they're just going to want to see what they want to see anyway. So, keep doing you, keep helping out, sending out love, giving out positivity, and walking on your path, and walk on your path in that, have as much faith as you possibly can. Have as much faith, faith as you possibly can. And that big P word that I do not like, patience. Patience. We have to learn patience. And you will get there. Trust me, you will get there. Do not give up. Don't let anything hinder you, lead you astray. Because I'm telling you, it will. things will come up and just to make you double back on yourself. So don't do that. Don't beat yourself up. And I'll see you on my next video. I hope y'all had a blessed weekend. It was safe. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild. Oh yes, like and subscribe. Hit me hit me up on, um, on here. Leave, drop me a line or two. I love to hear from you. If you resonate with my video, I hope you did. I'll keep you in my prayers. I hope you do the same for me. And peace and be wild. Love you.